so um, I am back with another sketchbook tour just because I did just finish this one. I use the term finished as uh, very loosely because I got to, I think, only a few pages left and I got really overworking in this one so I switched to a new one. Um, I'm going to show you this sketchbook which covers from October 2017 to... 420. <laughs> oh no, sorry, 421. Yeah, so till about the end of um, April. And then I will show you this one too. Um, I didn't like the paper quality too much, so I stopped working in this one as well. I decided I was not going to force myself to keep working in the sketchbook as well. Uh, this sketchbook is a, I have a new one right here that I'm going to start in. I actually really liked it. It's a Strathmore Vision mixed media sketchbook. They come with this, co this cover on the top and then you can rip it off and you have this cover. So I did really enjoy this one for what I do. Um, I'm not gonna do the same sticker thing that I did in the last one, except for these stickers are made by my friend Maddie, who I went to school with. Her Instagram is oh, that's raspberry, and I will put that um, either on the screen and also in the description down below because she has adorable artwork and stickers. So let's get started. Um, this sketchbook, as I said, started October 2017. It was started for my um, storyboarding class in school. Um, my teacher wanted us to keep a sketchbook and it ended up being a lot of my school work as well as my um, personal work too as it goes on because just I just wanted to fill it. So these are just storyboarding homework. Super faint. It's simple. I don't have a lot to say about it. Um, she also wanted us to start keeping Inktober in here. Um, I followed through more with Inktober this year than I ever have, so I got more days done than I have before. Um, I have Wirt, I have a little candy corn vampire thing, I don't know. Um, Newt Scamander, all of these are on my Instagram. We have, um, I was watching Taylor Nicole Dean's videos, so we have Cheese the um, Cowfish. I actually really like this one still. I find I like when I draw animals more than I draw people. Um, this is a commission, kind of, well not a commission, but I was um, crocheting a character by my friend Daniel, um, Kitty Jenkins. He has comic books with him and stuff. <laughs> They're fantastic. He is a great artist. Um, so I just drew what I was crocheting. That was like the basic shape. I have a little Frankenstein chibi. We have just crappy doodles. A Perry the platypus. It's a baby Perry the platypus. Um, this was one of our warm-ups in class that I kind of got really carried away with. She wanted us to draw ghosts, so I just did this whole spread and then colored in the back. Um, more storyboarding work. <laughs> Here's an elephant seal. I found a reference photo of it, and I really liked it. He looked stupid. Um, oh my god, my fish! All of my teachers hate this, but they also like it, I think, because... <laughs> I just kept working on it. I kept obsessively working on it and I started I put it in digital form and it's also the sticker that you see here right now and I have acrylic charms of it up on my shop as well just because it looks stupid. It's a betta fish ice cream. Because why not? Um, I like this one still too. It's the Beast from Over the Garden Wall. Um, it was the first time I really got an ink wash that I actually kind of liked in the background. More storyboarding notes, more warm-ups. We had to do robots, so of course I drew my son. And then I like this one that I did. I might turn that one into a kind of sticker too. Uh, we were doing Alice in Wonderland for our storyboarding, so that's why you see lots of little Alice doodles. A kind of Junkenstein. I was looking off of Junkrat references. My little salamander guy named Charlemagne. We have Groot. And a little cactus and then we were um storyboarding off of the edgar Allan poe story the um, black cat so i was doing some character designs for that so the narrator the cat he had other animals um kind of gruesome but he ends up killing his wife with a hatchet um so <laughs> there's her dead because he yeah he put it in her head um but i do like that one um we have more Doodles and the policeman. We ended up going with this design of the cat. Let's see. It, the cat has marks on it and it loses one of its eyes. So now we're going to start getting into personal work because I saw through the page. There's some Cuphead doodles. Love Cuphead, even though the game pisses me off. Um, that's supposed to be me. I'm still figuring out my style. Um, 
<laughs> there was this really weird tiki thing. Um, it looked like this in the Trader Sam bar at um, Disneyland. I was there with my dad, so I drew this guy based off of it, and I named him Brian, and he likes to eat pickled carrots, and he likes jellyfish because they squish. Um, this is the start of my um, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them challenge that I've been doing on my Instagram. I've kind of put it on hold for right now, but I am going through the Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them sketchbook, and I am drawing each um, creature. So we have the Acromantula, um, the Ashwinder, because the, the picture, the ske sketchbook, the sketchbook, the textbook has no pictures in it, so I can just go off of the descriptions. I tried to draw King Dice, I don't like that. Um, the Augury, it's a type of phoenix. Then we have the Basilisk. Um, the ones that were in the movie, I tend to use um, references for. So that was um, referenced off of a photo. And then the Billy Wig, that was also referenced off of a photo. Um, more doodles. There's Dipper. I guess I was trying, trying to do an, an expressions like thing. Um, a Han Solo that I really don't like. Um, I, I still don't, I'm trying to figure out my style, I guess. But then at the same time now, I've just been drawing without being so concerned about a quote unquote style. So this was when I was trying to force a style. So I don't know if I like it, but, um, I was super sick for like three days. So I watched all of the <laughs> older Star Wars, so four, five, and six. Um, I think I watched them all in one day. So we got Han, Luke, Leia, Luke, Luke. Can you tell I like Luke? Um, just doodles, I was drawing like kind of my cat. I have this mermaid that I draw now and I actually kind of really like her. And then there's Abigail, um, my fish lady. I should keep an Abigail counter. I don't think she's been in there too much, but I actually like that doodle of her. We have, oh, I got my first art snacks box. So that was this one. Um, I was testing all the supplies. I used a random prompt generator and I got um, small town drug dealer for like a character. And I don't think I pulled it off too well, but I like what I did, which those are some concept sketches. And then this was what I did with all the supplies in the box. It was like a Posca paint pen and then some watercolor markers and then like a multi-liner. Um, but I, I use these watercolor markers a lot now and the pen, the Posca paint pen. It has a brush tip, it's really good. I actually really like how that turned out. And some more Cuphead expressions. We're at Disneyland and I started drawing um, the small world building. I don't like how it turned out. It's so much detail. We have some more doodles. I liked how this chubby little orca turned out. So I drew him again over here. I still like the original little doodle better. Um, these were more class warm ups, so they're plants. I like that succulent. Um, we were doing, this is now into my advanced illustration um, with the same teacher. So I was just keeping the same sketchbook. Um, we were doing Peter Pan, so these were all my thumbnails for possible illustrations. I drew Luke again. I got the Disney Peter Pan out of my head because that was all I was gonna draw. Some more thumbnails, more plant warm ups. Um, some doodles, and I got a Winsor & Newton uh, Cotman watercolor Sketchers pocket box. And these are the two illustrations that I settled on. So I was testing things out with those. Did a watercolor mermaid. I blobbed some watercolor and then it turned into a Triceratops. This was um, schoolwork, so school homework. So we had to do three poses. So I was looking up different poses and I put just details behind them. So that's the other two of those. For a warm up, we had to do hairstyles, and I ended up really liking this one for one of my characters, which you'll see later. Uh, this is David. David Bowie. Yeah, we were doing um, sketches in class off of a photo reference, and this was one of David Bowie. And then my friend Adri stole my sketchbook, and she blocked hers out in there too. These were bigger thumbnails of my two illustrations. Some more homework. Um, we had to reference another artist style and kind of, kind of reference it. I went off of a watercolor artist and um, do again pose references. So we had to do three of those. So one, two. Sorry if I'm going kind of fast. Three. There's just a lot to get through, and I want to get through that other sketchbook too. Uh, boxes. Another thing for school. Um, I did that blob exercise, which I actually really liked, where I just blobbed paint down and then um, turned them into doodles. I like that one. And the skull. Um, but I didn't finish it on this side. 
more of um, the Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Gnomes challenge. I don't really like that one too much, but I posted it. And I redid this one, I think, on the next page. There's a humpback whale. Yeah, the Bundaman. I redid that one. I like that a lot better. And a snake. And then um, <laughs> Adventure Zone. Here comes the start of everything Adventure Zone. Um, I was drawing Merle because I don't really draw people with beards too much. Uh, an owl. Um, someone's hair off of a Pinterest reference. This was the Art Snacks Challenge that I filmed with my friend Jason. But um, it's like two hours of footage. And I have it on my phone and my computer and I can't get it off my phone for some reason. It won't airdrop because I think it's too long. So I need to find another way of exporting it. More Adventure Zone stuff. So we got Steven the Goldfish, the Umbra Staff, just sort of tacos good out here. I started doing gouache stuff. So there's a little gouache kind of landscape off of some colors that I have. Drew this random girl with antlers. More <laughs> art snacks challenge for um, March. And I did a scene from the Adventure Zone. Surprise, surprise. So there's the 11th hour arc. Um, we got the purple worm. There's some Roswell from Adventure Zone. Uh, I was just mainly referencing um, armor. I kind of want to really change this character design and make it more round. Um, I tried to design buttons. I still want to make those. So tacos get out here. Magnus rushes in end zone of truth. I really like this page. I really like this page. I don't know why, but I just did highlighter, the Posca paint pen, and then I inked all of it. I really like that. Um, some figure drawing real quick with a pen that I just taped in there. I never finished that. Told you more adventure zone. I've been drawing red robes with the Posca paint pen. I wrote trust Barry, love Barry, because you know, Bosca pens. Um, we started playing D and D. So there is my <laughs> my character. Her name is Celine Dion because you know I can take things seriously, right? Um, she's a dark elf bard. But I made her kind of like a beatnik kind of. So she wears like a beret, and she's very I don't know. She she plays the recorder. It's stupid. Um, we've been doing bugs um, in my advanced lighting and texture class. So I just drew a scarab beetle. Um, we're doing like robot ones so we can um, texture them. This is, I was testing out this ink that I got in my art snacks box. So just swatches, a T-Rex skull, some more like monochromatic, I guess, testing of that ink I didn't do too well. This was the start of my uh, 100 day challenge that I am currently still doing on my Instagram. So I did a dinosaur with the Posca pens. I drew some bottles. We have Jeremy here from Be More Chill. Um, Sebastian Castellanos from um, The Evil Within. I designed a tattoo for my friend Josiah in the style of poorly drawn cats. So he sent me a picture of his cat Paca and I did the outline like that. And he currently has that on his ankle, which is like the best thing ever. Um, this is a page of my character Celine from D and D. Uh, concept sketches for this weird lady that I've now drawn a few times. She's in one of my new sketchbooks right now. I like her. Um, my art snacks challenge for April. This is a time lapse video on my channel right now. And then this is my character Jay. I love him. He's my circus son. He's stupid. He does um like contortion and those aerial silks. There's another picture of Jay. And then Mothman. You're going to see lots of Mothman. Um, I think there's some of the other book I'm going to show you. But that's Mothman. And that's the end of this sketchbook. I changed the design a little bit. He's a little thinner now. So I'll show you guys that. But that's that one. So now we are on to this sketchbook, which is actually a bullet journal. It is the minimalist art San Francisco. I have a blank, like actual sketchbook of this too. Um, I think the paper's the same, so I, I want to use it, um, but I don't know what I'm going to use it for. But to go over these, this is my own design sticker. Um, I'm, I'm going to go over these because I can credit some people. So this is my own design sticker. This is on my Etsy store right now. This is my friend Adri's sticker. It's of the fish man from uh, Shape of Water. And then this is from Lee um, Eccleson. Um, it's her red panda vinyl sticker. I have a lot of her stickers. And then these are just art snack stickers. 
All right, so Abigail was on the first page. You can see why I don't like this paper that much. It streaks so bad. I started this March 3rd, 2018. So look at, there we go. Taco, Adventure Zone. Um, I did some, a ghost and a mushroom with a pink highlighter. There's Magnus. We were watching this movie. I think, what was it? What about Monday or something? I don't know. It was on Netflix. I didn't like it very much. Um, we had to watch it. We watched it in class and it was awkward. Um, Adventure Zone body type kind of planning. Um, there's Jay as a merman. We have Abigail again. Um, there's Taco and Kravitz. I don't know if I like that Kravitz design that I did. Um, there's Charlemagne again with his derpy face. And a Pinterest reference photo of a girl. Uh, Abigail. I tested a bunch of art supplies on this paper. Um, this was my list for finals, so that's just notes. Um, I drew a beta fish during class, and then I drew this little chubby bunny during class as well. Um, I tried to give Abigail eyebrows and I don't like it. It looks really weird. There's Taco again, based more off of what I wanted to do for my cosplay. Um, more journals, my art history presentation notes. Um, he was supposed to be, I was designing a character. I can't remember which one of my characters it was supposed to be, if it was supposed to be Greed or, I think it was supposed to be Greed or Wrath, I can't remember. Um, some more just, they're just doodles, um, concept doodles for, um, something else that's in, in the sketchbook, which I'll show you. Oh, I think it's on the next page. It is. It's a loop from Adventure Zone. So she's wearing a red robe and I wrote the be back soon note because why not? Um, this was done with Posca pens and a, uh, Prismacolor pencil and it just like super buckles the page. <laughs> Weird dinosaur dude. I don't know. I just drew him in class while like sitting down. It was really weird. Um, these were part of my 100 day challenge and so was on um, the loop on the other page. Uh, this is just a chess piece because we were lighting a chess scene in class. A little baby chick with some fruit. Uh, I was drawing, I was pose referencing with um, Evan Hansen and it's really irritating because Ben Platt makes the same pose in like every single photo ever. Um, wrote down cantrips for D&D. Um, we're doing a short film in production class right now, so I'm designing the, um, the poster for it. It's about two hermit crabs fighting over a shell. More Mothman. I love this page. Okay. I love this page. I love it so much. I want to turn these into stickers, like really bad, which I'm, I'm in the process of doing stickers and buttons. I love this one and I love that one. Mothman's the best. Some bears. My dad wants a... Um, t-shirt design for his work so there's some bears he needs bears on it testing out some pens I started working on a Bigfoot design to match with the Mothman one I found a like sweater um, like sweatshirt dress thing so I drew loop in it there's more Bigfoot and I think that's it in this one it's just Bigfoot yep that's it and then I'm just not gonna bother with the rest of that. I don't like the paper too much. All right, so that's it for this sketchbook tour. So let's put those there. Thanks for watching guys. Um, I hope you liked it. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And I do have all my links down below. I have a Patreon now, which I've been posting stuff on, and I do have um, my Etsy shop all updated and set up again. So if you guys want to check those out, and also I do have a Kofi um, page, Coffee Kofi, where it's just a website that helps support local artists and content creators um, by buying them a quote unquote cup of coffee to help support what they do. And yeah, I think that's it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.